So the Harry uh, microphone is there. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Mr. John Kapilos is with us here today at Heroes and Horrorcon in Bakersfield, California. Uh, Carl? What? Can I ask you a question? Sure. How does one become a janitor? You want to be a janitor? No, I just want to know how one becomes a janitor because Andrew here is very interested in pursuing a career in the custodial arts. Oh, really? You guys think I'm just some untouchable peasant, sir, peon, you know? Maybe so. But following a broom around after like you for the last eight years, I've learned a couple of things. I look through your letters, look through your lockers. I listen to your conversations. You don't know that, but I do. I am the eyes and ears of this institution, my friends. By the way, that clock's 20 minutes fast. What did you want to be when you were young? When I was a kid, I wanted to be John Lennon. Carl, don't be a goof. I'm trying to make a serious point here. Carl, I've been teaching for 22 years. And each year, these kids get more and more arrogant. Oh, bullshit, man. Come on, Vern. The kids haven't changed. You have. <sighs> you took a teaching position because you thought it'd be fun, right? Thought you could have summer vacations off? And then you found out it was actually work. That really bummed you out. Listen, Vern, if you were 16, what would you think of you, huh? What I'm wondering is also, I think some of our viewers might want to know, is how did you get involved with John Hughes? These are some iconic roles that you had. <clears throat> well, John Hughes was really, you know, um, of, he was not of Hollywood. He was of a sort of a different thing. He was National Lampoon and this. And John really, really aspired to use different actors in his productions. And he didn't really play by Hollywood rules. So he read me in Chicago, and he really, really liked me. And um, I met with uh, him, I remember meeting vividly on the movie 16 Candles. And I said to my agent, please get me in on this. And there wasn't really a part for me. And they said, well, there's this part of this guy that marries his sister at the end. He's an oily bohunk. But as they had it originally written, it was for a different sort of look, a different ethnic group and stuff. And then when he met me, he went, that's the guy that should play that guy. I think one of the roles that we probably will remember fondly is uh, in The Breakfast Club. That line, that line you deliver where you are the eyes and ears of this institution and that clock is 20 minutes past. Uh, the, the line that I improvised in that movie was, and when I was a kid I wanted to be John Lennon. That was not in the script, that was my line, but okay. FYI. When that scene was done, when you delivered that line, what was the reaction on set with the casting crew? Well, they felt like because they had cast another actor, Rick Moranis, in the part, there was a feeling that I had, they had finally landed, that the part had finally gotten to somebody like, oh, good, this is the guy. And also, um, that line, I remember particularly amusing Judd and, uh, and uh, Anthony Michael Hall. Um, yeah, and it was kind of a moment where, you know, everybody can identify with being in a classroom and, like, looking at the clock and the, the way those clocks used to go yeah. two minutes back and then three minutes forward or whatever. Two, 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 yeah. like, like, and then all of a sudden they say, yeah, by the way, the way that clock's going to be fast, it's like, oh, man. But um, that's the thing about Hughes. I mean, the small behavioral points of the movies, those little things are, are the things that really, really work. It's great to see you. What's the matter? Here comes the bride. Oh, Jesus. You know, you realize how important the medium is for capturing stuff, but you also realize that you know the work is the work is you know is is there for the moment and it's sort of gone, right? So um, I, there's there's kind of a sense of um, when I see these movies, I always thought when I was younger that I was going to see these movies and really wow, I remember that. But there's a sense of sadness I sometimes feel when I see them because I. I realize the sort of the zeitgeist in the moment they were in, but you know, it's part of the business and uh, I bet I love it, you know. So what's what's a good place for fans to follow you to, to 
social media? I'm on Facebook, John Kapolos page, John Kapolos News. Those are two good places to check me out. Well, thank you very much, John Kapolos. Thank we you. appreciate your time here with us at, uh, in Bakersfield, California with Hectic Films. Thank you.